How do you increase the speed of IT? In this short five minute whiteboard session, I will describe two key strategies for making IT more agile and improving time to market. My name is Reg Lowe, and I'm the director of Accelerate Advisory Services for VMware. The two key strategies for increasing the speed of IT are deliver more applications using DevOps. Traditional waterfall methods are too slow. Agile methodologies are an improvement but without accelerating both the infrastructure provisioning and the application development, IT is still not responsive enough for the business. Today, many organizations are experimenting with DevOps, but to really move the needle, organizations must adopt DevOps at scale. Deliver new platform as a service faster. Infrastructure as a service is a bare minimum for IT departments to remain relevant to the business. If IT cannot provide self-service, on-demand IaaS, the business will go directly to the public cloud. To add more value to the IaaS baseline and accelerate application delivery, IT must deliver application platforms in a cloud model, that is, self-service, on-demand, with elastic capacity. Let's start with the second key strategy, delivering new PaaS services faster. PaaS services include second generation platforms, database as a service, application server as a service, web server as a service, as well as third generation platforms for cloud native applications, such as Hadoop as a service, Docker as a service, or Cloud Foundry as a service. In order to launch these new PaaS services faster, IT must have a well-defined service lifecycle that it can use to quickly and repeatably create these new services. What are the activities and what are the artifacts that must be created in order to analyze, design, implement, operate, and improve a service? Once you've defined the service lifecycle, you can launch teams to create the new service, platform as a service, database as a service, or X as a service, where X can be anything. Each service can be requested by the self-service catalog, delivered on demand, and treated like code so it can be versioned with the application build. Each service needs a single point of accountability, the service owner. The service owner is responsible for the full life cycle of the service. They are part of the cloud services team, or also called the cloud tenant operations team. The cloud services team also manages the service catalog, provides the capability to automate provisioning, and manages the operational health of the services. The cloud services team is underpinned by the cloud infrastructure team. This team combines cross-functional expertise from compute, storage, and network to create the profiles or resource pools that the cloud services are built on. The cloud infrastructure team is also responsible for capacity and security management. The team not only manages the internal private cloud, but also the enterprise's consumption of the public cloud, transforming IT into a service broker. Now that we've described the new cloud operating model, let's return to the first key strategy for increasing the speed of IT, delivering more applications using DevOps. Many organizations have tasked one or two application teams to pilot DevOps best practices, such as continuous integration and continuous deployment. This is a good starting point. However, in order to expand DevOps at scale so IT can provide a measurable time to market impact for the business, we need to make the adoption of DevOps easier and more systematic. The DevOps enablement team is a shared services team that provides consulting services to the other app dev teams, contains the expertise in automation so that other app dev teams do not need to become the expert in Puppet, Chef, or CodeStream. And this team drives a consistent approach across all app dev teams to avoid a fragmented approach to DevOps. Remember how we talked about expanding PaaS? With self-service on-demand on PaaS provisioning, app dev teams can build environment as a service, an application blueprint that contains multiple VMs, the database server, application server, web server, and so forth. Environment as a service lets app dev teams treat infrastructure like code, helping them adopt continuous deployment best practices by linking software versions to infrastructure versions. By delivering more applications using DevOps, and by delivering new PaaS services faster, you can increase the speed of IT. 
VMware has a team of consultants that can help you set and execute a strategy for DevOps and PaaS across people, process, and technology, and set you on a path to success. Can contact your local VMware rep to learn more.